Hey, today I'm going to be breaking down all of the major VTuber face tracking softwares and showing you pros and cons. I'll also be including some clips of VTubers using these softwares. If you see a design you like, the VTubers at will be in the bottom corner, so go give them a follow. If you're looking for a certain software, check the description below for timestamps so you can jump around. VC Face is free and supports VRM models. You'll need a PC to run it. For face tracking, you can use a webcam or an iPhone, but for the optional hand tracking, you'll need to purchase a Leap Motion device. It needs a clear webcam or camera to track the face correctly and a CPU with high processing power. Kasai says that this is the best software for complex 3D models and is best used above the shoulders. V Magic Mirror is free and supports VRM models. You'll need a PC, but not much else. That's because it can be used without any facial tracking at all. You can use your keyboard, a game controller, or a MIDI controller to control your model, while the mouth syncs based on the audio coming through your mic. Of course, you can also use your webcam or iPhone to track your face. Kisai says that this is one of the best software for playing games, and that it's best used above the shoulders. Wakaru is free and supports VRM models. It's on PC only. It uses a webcam or phone camera to track your face. It even allows you to create keybinds for different body poses and hand gestures. It also supports hand tracking with webcam, which is a big plus. However, it doesn't seem to be getting updates anymore. 310 is free non-commercially and supports VRM models. It's PC only. It uses a webcam to track your face. The Pro version, which boasts many features including live 2D support, iPhone camera tracking, and body tracking will run you a hefty $200. I wouldn't recommend 310 because the free version is much more limited than other free applications. Even the pro version is nowhere near worth it, with features that others offer for much, much cheaper. Still, since it's free, if you feel drawn to 310, don't be scared to download it and try it out. VDraw is an interesting one. It's $10, but there's also a free trial. It's a PC application that supports VRM models and uses the webcam to track the face. What I find interesting about VDraw is the setup. You can type, draw, or game in VDraw, and your model will press the same buttons as you in real time. This is especially cool when drawing. It's like you're drawing on a life-sized canvas. If you like VDraw's unconventional setup, I'd say it's totally worth it. Luppet is a $50 PC program that supports VRM models and webcam face tracking. You'll need a Leap Motion device for the optional hand tracking. Luppet is great, it works well. However, I simply don't see why it's $50 when there are other programs priced so much cheaper. It does have a free trial, however, so if Luppet really speaks to you, feel free to download the trial and test it out. Vup is another free one. It supports 3D, 2D… Honestly, there's a lot you can do with Vup. The problem with it is that it relies on a lot of third-party programs that aren't easy to install or use. It's all very needlessly complicated and I wouldn't waste your time. Sure, there's a lot you can do with Vup, but whatever you need done can almost always be done with another, easier, more intuitive program. Now, let's talk about FaceRig. It's $15, plus $4 more for Live 2D support. FaceRig is the most mainstream and recognizable of the programs on this list, but I wouldn't recommend it. Using VRM files in FaceRig is not even worth trying. But FaceRig does still have a place for VTubers in the Live 2D module. It works well. Well, used to. However, the developers have abandoned it in favor of Animaze. Animaze is a subscription-based 2D and 3D program. It's in early access right now, so I don't want to be too quick to pass any judgments on it. I'd say hold off on using it until the final version comes out. Or at least until it's a little more stable and robust. I'm a little cynical about the whole situation, but I'll try and give it a fair review when the time comes. On to 2D exclusives. PRPR Live is a 2D only program on PC only. It's free, but has some really neat DLC. It uses a webcam or iPhone to track your face. Thumbs up all around. It's free. Why not download it and try it? Live 2D Viewer X, geez, that's a mouthful, is a $5 cross platform 2D program. If you're on Mac and don't have a phone with face tracking that works with VTube Studio, this is your absolute best option. It's not exactly made for VTubing, it's actually a live wallpaper program like Wallpaper Engine. However, it's compatible with Live2D and can therefore be used as a VTubing software. Yeah, it's a bit of a workaround, but if you're on Mac and can't use VTube Studio, this is your best choice. 
Speak of the Devil, VTube Studio. It's a $20 program available for Mac and Windows. The best of the best when it comes to Live 2D. You use an app on your phone to capture the face tracking via the phone camera. Then it sends that to your computer for streaming, recording, whatever. The catch is that your phone has to be compatible with the app, aka have face tracking. If in doubt, download the free app and try it out. There's a huge VTube Studio community on Discord and such, and they and the dev are super helpful. I would absolutely recommend this to anyone with the resources and money. I suppose there are some other names I should mention. Puppemoji, Customcast, Vikatsu. These are the apps and programs that often come up when you search VTuber maker and such. I wouldn't recommend these kinds of programs. You can't really legally import or export from these programs, which is super limiting for you. Plus, most of them only allow you to choose from pre-made assets, which is not what you want. You want to own every part of your model. Not only will it set you apart visually from others, it will just make everything easier legally down the road. I wouldn't recommend using any of these programs. They are super fun though, just as character creators. I have a ton of them, and I'd totally recommend using them when in the ideas phase of designing your character, if that's the kind of thing that helps you. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of this super long video. It was not easy to make, so if you want more videos like this, please like, comment, share, you get it. Thanks. Comment with any other videos you'd like to see. Oh, and big thanks to so many VTubers for helping me collect all the information and clips for this video. It wouldn't have been possible without you.